movies we present are Finding Ohana, Occupation Rainfall, Outside the Wire, Space Sweepers, The Little Things, and The Marksman. Finding Ohana While vacationing in Oahu, two Brooklyn brothers discover a diary with the location of a treasure. This find is the beginning of an epic adventure in which they make new friends and connect with their Hawaiian roots. This movie for us is average, so we give it two stars out of five. The story is not that original as it's very similar to the plot of the movie The Goonies of 1985. It seems to us that this production is a new adaptation of that film. The performances, scenography and special effects are average. Nevertheless, this movie is entertaining enough to watch with your kids. If you haven't watched The Goonies, do it. It's a much better film. Occupation Rainfall Two years after suffering an intergalactic invasion on Earth, survivors in Sydney, Australia fight a desperate war as the number of casualties continue to grow. The resistance and their unexpected allies weave a plan that could result in the end of the war. This movie for us is average, so we give it two stars out of five. This film is a sequel to the movie Occupation of 2018, which we also consider an average movie. The story is not that original, as it reminds you at times of the movie Independence Day, the series Falling Skies, among others. The performances, scenography and special effects are average. Watch this Australian Brain Candy movie if you have nothing better to do. Is this gonna be it? Running? Fighting? Hiding? Repeat? Until we run out of luck? I risk my life and that of my family to align myself with you and your kind. I can never go back. War is a messy and profoundly savage business. There is no magical diplomatic solution. We are losing. Do you understand me? Impact with the city is imminent. We need everything we have to evacuate. Outside the Wire A drone pilot joins an android officer to locate a device that threatens to end life on the planet. The device in question is hidden in a highly militarized area. This movie for us is average, so we give it 2 stars out of 5. The plot, although original, is not that interesting, as it's full of the same cliches of similar movies. For example, once again the Russians are in trouble, enthralled in a civil war in Eastern Europe, and the US troops are there to make it all better and are the heroes. Also, the story is predictable with some slow and boring parts. The performances are below average, especially of that actor Damson Idris, whose acting is bad. Both the special effects and its scenography leave much to be desired. Space Sweepers. This film tells the story of Tae Ho, Captain Yang, Park Tiger and Bubs, the robot who live collecting space junk. All four are known as the Victory Crew and their plans change when they find Dorothy, a humanoid robot who in turn is a weapon of mass destruction and is sought after by the most dangerous space criminals. This movie for us is good so we give it 3 stars out of 5. The plot is original, interesting, funny and dramatic with good performances and very good special effects. It's really worth watching this Korean science fiction movie.
the little things. A sheriff and a homicide detective have to work together to try to hunt down a cunning serial killer. This movie for us is good, so we give it 3 stars out of 5. The plot is interesting, suspenseful and dramatic, but it's not that original, as how many movies are out there dealing with serial killers? Plenty. The cast includes well-known excellent actors, and their performances are good, but are far from being spectacular. This film will definitely keep you entertained. The Marksman, a rancher on the Arizona border, becomes the unlikely defender of a young Mexican who desperately flees from cartel assassins who have chased him to the United States. This movie for us is good, so we give it 3 stars out of 5. The story is interesting, but predictable, and lacks originality as there are many movies with similar plots, like for example, Sylvester Stallone's movie Rambo Last Blood of 2019. The performances, scenography and special effects are good, and once again we see Liam Neeson performing a role where he's a former soldier, in this case a former marine, and uses its military training to save the day, a role we've grown accustomed to. Nevertheless, this movie is worth watching.